Great Lakes is not only full of fish, but it's full of beautiful scenery. Vast amount of forest and open water. Sometimes you won't even see a boat for days. The abundance of life up here this time of year is insane because they don't have very long to get it done. We are officially Youpers, baby. We're going up to the Youper Peninsula. This is two Texans heading up to fish the Great Lakes and experience a totally different fishery than what we're used to. You're gonna wanna stay tuned. I got it. Came and grilled it. Gotta respect the heart of a smallmouth. Welcome on back to the channel, y'all. If you haven't seen the last video, go back. We're up here at Lake Michigan and we're on smallmouth. Today we're trying to catch 100 bass out of this boat today. Right now, Matt is on possibly his personal best fish on a bed dragging a uh, little rattling net through there. So let's see if we can get hooked up. Start this video off with a PB. That would be, be amazing. He Dude, he had not feel him at all. Dude, Dude, you just have your PB on and he, you let him he get. He just swam off with it. Like I watched him swim to the left. You can see him just glow when he bites. Oh my gosh. You're way to the, to the right. Come on, Matt E. Eat that PB. Awesome. Shotgun and Michelob. <laughs> a little nervous. You guys got me a little worked up over here. <laughs> Woo! He's got it. Oh! Did he lose it? He just, he just freaking. How big was it? I, I didn't it see It looks him. like a three I pounder didn't, I didn't me. see him. You got him. Oh, oh gosh, brother. Oh, Switching up to a drop shot right here. This fish just keeps nipping at it, spitting it out really quick. So something pointless. He'll probably just suck it in like a little candy corn. He's got it. He's got, got it. it. He's got Oh, you oh dude, no, 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 no. What kind Keep of hook set tight. was that? Oh, here, oh, no. What kind of hook set was that? It's a wrong-handed hook set. I'm I'm left-handed. Skinny. That was a skinny jean hook set. That's what that was. <laughs> oh, now we got it. He's flustered on the bed fish. Three and a half. Oh no! Where we left off. I, you know, I lost a fish at the boat. That was a really nice bed fish. Um, and we've given it about 10 minutes. I'm gonna throw back in there now. This is the crazy thing about smallmouth is they'll go right back to their beds and hit a bait over again. It's, it's not like a large mouth. Broke me off. You break him off? Yeah. Dude, he was right there. So here's the other thing about <laughs> fishing up here. I've gone down to eight pound test. And you set the hook like you were flipping him. <sighs> did I? You did, dude. That I know. was bad. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Sorry, I'm just destroying I broke that fish here. off. I feel bad. Now we but at least I didn't get... set the hook like Matt. Yeah, that was somewhere in between what y'all just done <laughs> is perfect. Yeah, I that also was like have a, a little. Uh, that was eight pound on braid with a pretty stiff rod. So I'm gonna tone down that hook set from Texas style. Just go to a lean method. Did he smoke it when it pitched it in oh, there? Oh, dude, he, it was sitting there, just solid. The crazy part is I might catch this fish oh, you're going again, to catch it. and it, it'll have the bait in its mouth. I feel bad, but I don't, because I lost him, you know. We'll see if he'll eat again. So if you didn't see, you last episode, we said that we were gonna catch 100 fish. We are, uh, we're out here, we're about, I don't know, about an hour and a half into the day. We got about 12 fish in the boat. So we're feeling good about the hunter fish today. We got a lot of daylight. It stays light here until almost 10 o'clock at night. So we're, I feel pretty good about it. I feel really good about it. Here's, here, here's what's gonna happen. This would be epic, dude. If you could get this fish that has a rattling net in its mouth on this drop shot over here. He's already netted And up. it's your peepee. -pee. And I, technically I didn't land it, so. Okay. How do you feel about that? That being your PB, or do you want to? You already punctured. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or do you want to? Let you me want, I, listen. He I wants his my, own fish. I think that I was my PB. I just lost out here. Okay. Jeremy's gonna. Jeremy's gonna get this fish with a drop shot. No, I'm not catching. Guaranteed. No, I'm not. I'm not going to try. I'm going. If he bites him, I'm going to swim. I'm just going to see if it'll go. Oh God! Look at him swimming with it. Oh yeah. 
Here, come here. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. I want to see you shotgun a beer. Dude, he will bite. You saw that. I can catch him on a hot dog weenie right now. Catch this up there. Catch that. Where's he at? He's right on the center of that bed. So pass it and bring it right to it. He's right handed. Here, let me change it for you. <laughs> we gotta do this the right way, I guess. Matt has already said when he catches his PB, he's, he's gonna shotgun a beer. So I, I definitely think that should occur. And I think it will occur here in the next few minutes. Oh, got it. There oh, he is. Oh my gosh! The hook set looked good. I don't know. The hook set was good. Dude, he'll bite it immediately again. Just get it back in there. Man. It seems they're on the right side of the bed. He's got it. You got him at time. Fish <laughs> He's on. got it. Fish on. This might be a shotgun. Fish on! Take him left. Don't bring him in front of the motor down. Oh, oh my god! That was your personal best. This is, All right. Listen, that fish wasn't meant to be caught. It just wasn't. It wasn't meant to be caught. He had a slippery mouth, okay? There was something going on with that fish. He wasn't meant to be caught. The good news is, there's a lot more out here, so we're gonna keep hunting. Yeah, get the old grabber claw on. We got 13, working on 100. Our pace right now is okay. We got like a 20 hour day with all this sunlight up here, I think it's achievable. But I think we're gonna have to go to the, the deadly tactic, like the dragging the nets seems to be getting a lot of bites, drop shots. I wanted to whack them on, on moving baits, but it seems like this is the ticket to catch numbers. That's a good one. Oh yeah. I think Jeremy's paid some people to go out there and scuba dive and just hook fish on his hook at this point. So this is, I mean, I don't know what we're doing different here. Somehow we got conned into putting a little money on this at the beginning of the day. But as of right now, he's big. Jeremy is the 96 bulls, okay? This man is absolutely trained right now. fish out here and also taking all of our money. So I hope he'll give us a chance to redeem ourselves out here. <laughs> Got it. Good. Okay, <laughs> ah, yeah, hey, I'm getting my confidence with the drop shot now. I'm just just lifting up on them. That's all you gotta do. I'm just here for the ride. I'm watching two legends of the fishing world just catch giant smallmouth all around me and I just pull in the leftovers. That's what I do here. Just a little chug. Just a little chug right there. Woo! Let's do this. <laughs> oh, get the lobes ready. <laughs> Wow. Hey. Hey. Oh, Maul. The guy that's still fishing is an absolute savage. He was the one that wanted to stop. No. He was asking, like, hey. Oh, well, I man, I thought we could, like, I didn't mean we could just, like, quit fishing. We just need to hunt. This is John Bean, 20 years right here. It's what? John Bean, 15, 20 years. Never stop. I just want everybody to know, while we're eating sandwiches, this man right here is catching four pounders. And in case you forgot, this is the man right here that put 
just a whooping on Kevin Van Dam in an Elite Series tournament and coined the phrase, Kevin who? That was him. That's, that's savagery. Savagery. I mean, I'm not even through a sandwich. He's got two fish. We have a sandwich out of stuff. They're biting me. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, if we didn't have him in the boat, <laughs> the century mark would not be met. <laughs> That's Matt's PB. Sitting right in front of him. I don't even look at him anymore. Uh, Jeremy has caught like 10 of Matt's PBs. That's a good that fish. That's a, uh, beautiful too. Dripping all no over. doubt. Yep. Oh, damn it. I know. Milestone fish right here, number 70. And it's a good one. Just got this one off one of these beds. We just launched the drone and we could see like an acre of these beds. And I think there's a, a lot of a lot of smallmouth home on those houses. Like, oh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, like Michigan, I love you. I love you. Look how pretty that fish is. Look at the stripes, the lines. They're just muscle. Like, if, if any of y'all have never caught a smallmouth, that when you pick up a smallmouth versus a largemouth, they're just dense. They're tight packed with muscle. Even their jaws, you just feel it when you pick them up. Go make some more Michigan smallies. 70, 30 more, and we're gonna reach that century mark. We're gonna do it, y'all. We still got plenty of time left in the day. Got it dialed in with drop shots. It's on. I made a little switch up to the 10,000 fish shimmer shad. This is a catchco bait, and it is just about identical to a bait fish in the water. And it has these strobe strips in the center of them. So how this works is they've got the plastic around these strobe strips, and they also have 3D eyes embedded in them. So really good translucent colors and there's that foil strip in there. So when this thing is in the water and you're twitching it on a drop shot, you just nose hook it and then you're, you know, twitching the end of your rod, this thing is dancing and flipping up on its side and it creates that, that flash like a bait fish that just twitches like it's dying. We're making a sudden move and fish just can't stand that sort of thing. So it's really cool bait, you know, it's, it's a lot different than uh, a lot of other plastics that I've seen and just really great bait for up here, you know especially with all these great colors. So I'll leave a link down below for these. I've used these in the past on drop shots in Texas and stuff, but never up here. This is really where they're dialed, like really where they're supposed to be used, I think, like at their, at their greatest strength is up here when fish are getting a little finicky. So I'm just gonna Texpose rig this thing right on my drop shot. That's ready to go. Super natural. Let's go get another one. Last time we were we were all together, we were on Lake Erie, and the wind I don't even feel like was blowing this hard. And there was some big <laughs> there were some big rollers out there. Now Jeremy might have to tell us exactly what's going on here, but he's telling us we're protected back here and we're still getting blown around a little bit, so. Yeah, we're protected back here, we're not protected out there. I mean, we don't have a long run, but it's gonna be bumpy. Oh, we're gonna have a bumpy ride. And we're probably thinking there's gonna be some rain happening. Oh, got a fish, got a fish. Come oh on, yeah, man. come on. Oh, it might be the one. Oh! It is. <laughs> it's a big fish. <laughs> come on, Sally. Yeah. Oh, dude, he's bird dogging you. Bulldogging you. Get him in the mouth! Oh, oh got him! Look at that fatty! <laughs> Look at that! Nice. Giving the weather report. <laughs> nice. Catching man. fish, number 80. That's that is the number, number 80. Hell yeah! He is 
a freaking chunk. Yeah, dude. Look how thick, man. They're just so different than our smallmouth back home. Okay. That's a chunky one, dude. I don't think it's quite your PB, but it's heck right. of an 80. That was a good 80. These boys around me might say that rain's gonna stop oh. them. Rain's not stopping me at this point. But I don't want to get wet, I'll be honest. Hey, we got one on here. We got one on. He's a Eight, 81. That was a fun one. We cannot be stopped. We cannot be stopped before we get 100. I, this is Jeremy's call because he's been out here way more than us. But oh, we're not, I don't care if it. You don't freaking care. tornado comes through here. We're not leaving till we catch a hundred. I don't care how bad it gets. We'll just spend the night out here, I guess, but we're catching a hundred. Folks, we got a situation. We're almost to the mark and we have high winds, big waves building out there. I, I don't even know anything about, you know, fishing the Great Lakes and having to run waves that size. This is, this is Jeremy's call, but he's committed. I'm co we're all committed here, but. We're, we're kind of committed no matter what. Tr tr yeah, trust me <laughs> when I say this ride back is not gonna be enjoyable. This is gonna be bad. But we're, we're too deep now. We can't just stop it, you know. So we're gonna catch our 100 and it's gonna be rough ride back. Jeez, I got a bite, but this is not committed. <sighs> Oh, not a big one. Let's count. All right, folks, three more. Three more, and then we've got a nice, easy boat ride with some possible drenching Are you feeling pretty in the forecast. Oh, we're, dude, we still got so much time in the day is the thing. We're just up against the storm. Like, I feel like we could get 150 if we had a full day. Oh, 100, we might, dude, the evening bite might get so good, we might get 200. We're accomplishing goals. The big check mark, that's getting knocked off today. Got one. It's a good one, too. Is it? It's a good one, yeah. It ain't a TV, but it's a good one. It's 98. I mean, look at that. We're gonna boat flip him. <laughs> no, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. They're a little heavier than they look. Yeah. They get a little thick, man. Well, this is 98. I didn't catch that. 98. 99. 99. This is setting me up. Man, that's a freaking nice one, too. <laughs> We've caught some really nice ones during the last 40 minutes. I thought it was gonna to come together right there in that last five minutes for Matt, but the rain is starting to come down. We're gonna get completely soaked if we don't get a fish in here in the next five minutes. Like, we gotta go. I just don't, I, this, this great wet, oh, I got him. I got him, number 100. There he is. We got one? Yes, yeah. a big one too. 100, 100. Okay, this is it. This is it. Come on, Sally. Just get in here. We got to go. This one has importance to it. Come it needs on. Can't lose that fish. We cannot lose that fish. Here. Get that fish! Yes! <laughs> Century mark! There it is. Oh my god. I didn't word. think that one was gonna come. God! That was the longest stretch we've had without a bite. Yeah. Right there at the end, baby. Thanks for saving us. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, we did it. 100. We got to 100. <laughs> okay, all this is number 100 out here. Hit that landmark achievement. Check the box out here on Lake Michigan. Incredible fishery. Jeremy, thank you for keeping us safe. 
We got well, a long way. We, yeah, we got a ways to go. <laughs> we got a long ways back, but oh my gosh, man, you put it's us a on some fish. fish for number hundred. Oh yeah, great, fantastic fish. It's only day one. This is day one, folks. So you're gonna want to stay tuned. Let's let this fish go. We've got a long ride back, but monster accomplishment done today. See you, one hundred. Thanks for the fight. here yeah. so big check mark off the list today 100 fish next time pb for you that's the next, next time out big check mark yes we got a lot more time here ladies and gentlemen so we're going to take a toast to the what great brown fish of the north just a little woodford just woodford straight hey cheers boys yeah cheers cheers Thank y'all for tuning in today. Y'all better smash that like button for catching 100 fish and subscribe because we got more action to come. Thanks for being here. God bless you. See you next time.